Hey y'all, Jesse Peterson here with Let's Make Art, and I am a mixed media artist, and I love art journaling, and I like to share things that will inspire your art journaling practice. So things like prompts and techniques and projects and themes, that's what we like to do here. Today I have a fun project for you. We're calling this project the Balance Ooh. Project. Keenan's here, yes. working the camera, telling me where to put things so you can see it, and cheering us on like the art cheerleader that he is. Thank you, I'm here today <laughs> and tomorrow. Okay, so each month we like to work on a theme for a few projects, um, and this month's theme is a good one. It's all about seeking solace. So I'll just read you a little bit about what we're working with here. In a world with so much suffering and stress, we often find the need to seek solace. The word mandala derives from the Sanskrit language in ancient India, and the geometric configuration of these sacred circles is found in many other cultures throughout history. This month, we will explore creating mandalas with different techniques as a mindful practice to create space for balance, abundance, and serenity in our art journaling. So we're gonna make these beautiful designs in a sort of meditative way. Lovely. Mandala. Yeah, there are lots of different ways people say that. Mandala. Yes. Mandala? Mm-hmm. Mandala. <laughs> <laughs> I say mandala, but I've heard mandala, uh, mandala, what, you know, different. Inflections? Yes. But you can say it however you want, or yes. you can do a, a search, and you will see that our people say it differently. Yes. That's all right. Especially when they're from different countries. Yeah, or you have a southern accent, right? Like, yeah. I, I probably say it differently because of just the way that I speak. But Exactly. We're going to have fun making them, and we're going to start with this one. But I want to tell you about the supplies that we have for this theme, all of them, and then we'll talk about which ones we're gonna use for a specific project. So I am excited to introduce you to these Dr. P.H. Martin Spectralite um, liquid acrylics, and they are so fun. They're vibrant, they have a lot of pigment in them, but they're not like super thick, which is nice because they dry very quickly in your art journal, which is great for us. And you can kind of layer them for more opacity. And um, they're kind of unique that way, so I really like them. We're gonna use aqua, black, white, and this really pretty violet color. We're also going to use these stencils to make a lot of our mandalas. Today we're going to use this one, but there's lots more. Mm -hmm. And we will use some light and fluffy modeling paste by the Crafters Workshop for an upcoming project. And to mix it up, I thought we could try out using a glue stick instead of the Yes paste that we normally use. And we will get a jelly roll white pen, which we'll be using today, and a stencil brush, which is really nice and fun to work with this stencil. So that's all of the supplies. Today we will use these supplies. We'll use this stencil right here for our balance project. And we will use this aqua, the black, the white, and we're gonna not use the violet today. We won't use that. We'll use this pen and we'll, it'll be nice to have a black pen around for your writing. And I think that's everything we need for this project. And if you've got some clips to hold your journal back, you can use those. We have these ones available on our website. All of these supplies can be um, found on letsmakeart.com. Yeah, and we always include collage paper for the month. We won't be using that for this project, but I thought I would just put it there for now. All right. So let's get into our project. So we'll go over the prompt and the technique. Each project I try to get, offer you a technique that you can try and a prompt. You don't need to do them if the prompt doesn't feel like right for you but you're liking the technique, you can go for that. You can mix and match the things um, that we offer here. It's your art journal and you can do whatever feels good for you. So that's what we wanna encourage you to do. Okay, so I like to usually set an intention when we're creating sometimes it's hard to get to the spot where we're like, okay, I'm gonna set aside this time to create my art journal. And sometimes we feel some guilt about whatever needs to be getting done instead of this time that we set aside for ourselves. So that's why I like to set an intention and just take a minute to be just mindful that we're gonna make something together and we're going to be thoughtful about it. And we're gonna create in our journal and this time is, it's okay. We're giving you permission to create here. Because um, sometimes it's hard for us to give ourselves permission to make things instead of doing something for everyone else, right? So let's just take a deep breath. Feels weird, but it's okay. And just be in the moment in our art journal. 
and making stuff. Okay, so I think the intention today will be very similar to our prompt, and it's about balance. So I'll read that and we'll set our intention that way. It, the prompt says, let's think about balance as we create a mandala. Living a balanced life can mean different things to different individuals. Being balanced doesn't necessarily mean being calm, relaxed, and content all the time. True. <laughs> I certainly am not <laughs> any of those things all the time. As you think of things to achieve a more balanced life, try considering that a balanced life is not a final goal, but an ongoing pro pra uh, process that we practice. Um, Jana Kingsford said, I love this quote so much. Balance is not something you find, it's something you create. Oh. <sighs> Isn't that cool? That is nice. What wise words? As you make mandalas in your art journal, what can you be mindful of in your life to create balance? Are there words or images you can include in your pages to help you seek balance? So you can take this project and you can add more words, you can think of other things that you're looking for balance in your life. Um, this is just an invitation to start thinking in that direction when you take it however you want. So I thought it would be fun to start this project off with thinking about that quote. And so I was also thinking that that could be our intention today. Balance is not something you find, it's something you create. Sorry, this is loud plastic. All right. Sorry, it just reminds me of a snack bag. <laughs> and Keenan's talking about food, I love it. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start with my new fresh journal. And you could start right in the beginning if you want, or you can turn a page in, it's up to you. I'm gonna turn a, turn a page, start in the middle there, okay. And if you've done some art journaling with us in the past, you may have done the layered writing project with us where we basically did some writing on free writing and thinking and then we painted over it and we set an intention. And I think that one is a really popular one because it's just really therapeutic. And I think sometimes writing in that way is really helpful. So I wanted to offer you a variation of that in this project. I'm going to write that quote over and over on the page just to settle in my mind like what I'm wanting to remember about balance. And you can go along with that intention or you can choose a different word that you want your mandala to sort of focus in on. You could free write on that and if you're confused about what that is, you can check, check that layered writing um, video out. And as we're doing this, we can just listen to some soft music and write that and just kind of set our intention as we begin our project. Sound good? Sounds great. Okay, so I'm going to write balance, and I'm using my favorite little precise pen here. Balance is not something you find it. Something you create. And I'm just going to write that over and over, and then I'm going to paint over it to create our background. Okay? Perfect. So, cue awesome music. <laughs>
felt good. It wasn't like how in school when you write lines over and over, like it was a chore. It was actually really nice to just kind of zone out and think about that and have my mind really um, store that away where I'm going to remember it. I'm just kind of wetting this pen because it's kind of fun to see it get a little blurry. So I kind of like doing that. OK, we'll put this stencil aside for a minute. We'll dispense some of our paint. I'm going to use this aqua. And this paint comes with this really nice dropper. So you can just kind of drop a little on your palette as you go. If you've used their watercolors before, then you know their pigment is just fantastic. Um, but unlike the watercolor, this is acrylic, so it will dry. So we need to work quickly. Oh, isn't that so pretty? Love it, love it, love it. Look at that color. Mm, so nice. And I'm just using my number eight brush here. You can use whatever brush you got. Mop brush would have been fine for that too. There's our little compressor buddy mm -hmm. kicking in with us. Did you give him a name? Yeah, we call him Oscar. Oh yeah, Oscar. He's just cheering us on. Thanks, Oscar. And if you want it to be more transparent, you can add more water to it, and you know, it'll be a little more transparent. If you want it to be thicker, then you can go back over layers to make it darker in some areas. And if your paper is wet, like it is because I wanted the letters to smear, you may get a little bit of texture in the way of sort of a bloom, which is nice. Oh, yeah. With this paint. Oh, I just love it. Let's get some lighter. I love it when the, like you do the handwriting and then cover it with paint. <laughs> Looks super cool. Thanks. I kind of like how it feels to do it. So win, win. Okay, let's add a little white to this. Same thing, it's just got a little dropper. I'm gonna drop a little bit of this on my palette. Now you can mix this aqua color with the white and get a lighter aqua if you want, or you can just do the little mixing right on your page. It's up to you. This white helps it be a little more opaque. Mm. So it will cover up some spots more. So if you decided to write your own words here, maybe a little rant or something that you're <laughs> thinking about, and then you're like, oh, I kind of want to cover these up, then using the white um, can help, help do that too. I'm gonna add a little bit of water to mine. Let's get a little more green in there so we can get more of a in-between color. Yeah, I'm liking that. Just have fun. There's no exact science to this. Like you don't have to do it exactly like how I'm doing. Just have fun with your paint and be in the moment. That's what I like about art journaling. It's all about just stepping away from your to-do list and being intentional about how you're spending your time. It's good, good stuff. It is good stuff. I like how transportable it is. Compact. What, what do you mean by that? I just like how you can take it anywhere. Oh, like your art journal. Yeah, your art yeah. journal. It's very easy to just shut it, throw it in your back pocket. Not really, but you know. Well, somewhere. if you have a wide back pocket, maybe. Yeah, if you got a wide back pocket. <laughs> yeah, I just like how you can take it everywhere really easily. Yeah, it is. It's nice. Any place you're having to wait, you got a little moment. I kept a little journal by my, in my kitchen, so when I was waiting for something to boil, but I needed to be right there, um, I could jot down an idea. So there's always little pockets of time during your day. You can try to fit it in. You don't have to do these projects all at once. You can start, do the one step, and then if you got other stuff you got to do, then you can do that and come back to it. So if it feels overwhelming to do a whole project at once, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Okay, I'm liking how this is looking. Just gonna put some more white right there because I just want it to kind of blend when I do my next step. So 
Step one was writing and painting. I don't think I laid out the steps earlier, but that's okay. Next step is going to be, we're going to do this black circle on there. You got to wait for this to paint or even better, we can get it to dry really quickly with a blow dryer or heat gun, or you can eat a snack since mm. the crackle of the plastic was making Keenan think about snacks. I'm interested to know what your favorite wrapped snack is. So when we come back from drying time, we'd like to hear that. What do you mean by wrapped snack? Well, you said this sound. Oh, okay, gotcha. Oh, yeah, so yeah. when we come back from drying time, let's hear it. Okay. All right, let's dry this and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back. And this is looking and feeling dry. It's, um, one tip when you're drying things, if you're not gonna go eat a snack and let it dry on its own and you wanna force it to dry with a heat gun or mm -hmm. blow dryer, you can heat it from this side and that side and it'll help it not like totally, cause usually it will just buckle this way. But look, we got it buckling both ways. Buckling both ways. <laughs> buckling both ways. Buckling both. <laughs> you're buckling both. Oh, Keenan, you're the best. Okay, so our next step is gonna do like this little black circle that we want on here. And I would just recommend if you got some, a tape roll, you wanna do a tape roll or um, your yes paste mm. tub of paste, you know, you can do that. I'm gonna use this, I think this is good. A large mug? Yes, a large mug. I'm gonna just get my head in the way for a minute so I can see where it is on there. And then I'm gonna move my head out of the way because I have great posture. Yes, that's true. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to use my black pen and I'm going to just draw a circle. And it doesn't have to be perfect, y'all. It's fine. Yeah. Whatever we're doing is fine. And speaking of it not being perfect, one of the things that I learned about making mandalas was watching these Tibetan monks do it. Did you see those videos with the sand? That I was uh, you about? I've actually never seen one. Oh, well, we'll have to look those up later. All right. And I would encourage you to as well. They're really neat. But they make them with sand and they spend like three or four days making them. And they're very intricate with all these beautiful colors. And then they sweep them away when they're done. Where the sand, why do they sweep them away? Because for them, it represents how the world is always changing and um, that it's important not to attach yourself to all these things in the world that are cha changing and it gives you this sense of impermanence. And that's, well, that's something lovely. that, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. So I think that's really cool. So if you're thinking about um, trying to duplicate this, just how I did it, don't even worry about it because things are always changing. Always. And it's all good. Okay, so I made this circle. I just dispensed this black matte paint I just love. And I'm using a Filbert brush that I just happen to have here. I didn't say that in the beginning that I was gonna use this brush. You can use whatever brush you want, it's not a big deal. You could use a mop brush if you got that. You can use your eight brush. I'm just gonna use this one. And I kinda like the idea of the circle not being perfect and kind of jutting out in spots, so I'm not gonna worry about it being too. Who makes a perfect circle anyway, you know? I mean, if you get joy out of doing that, I'm not going to stop you. No, absolutely. But I don't want you to worry too much about it being yeah. perfect. Uh, I think you asked me what my favorite wrapped snack is. Yes, I did. I don't have a specific favorite because I like too many types of chips. <laughs> you know, garden salsa, chips. Like the sun chips? Yeah, the Sun Chips, that's the brand. Garden Salsa is my favorite. Mm. I also like chips and salsa. I have a trend. Nice. Mm. I like, I like pork rinds. sour cream and cheese ones. Ooh, the sour cream and cheese ones like are the ones with a the ridges. delightful classic. Yep. Oh, those are probably my favorite. Mm. Good good things. Mm -hmm. We'd like to know what your favorite snacks yeah, are, too. Tell if us you what to your favorite that. snacks are. Just filling this in, this is fun. And if your brush gets a little bit dry, then you can start seeing your um, brush sort of separate, which is cool because then when you drag it, you'll kind of get some kind of cool marks. So you can experiment with that. Cool. Doesn't have to be all smooth, but if you're liking it to be smooth and just get your brush a little bit more wet, you'll see those 
brush is going back to smooth. See that? Mm -hmm. And then you won't get those little lines. And this paint is drying really quickly, which I love. Yeah, it's drying really fast. I just thought it was fun to do it in a circle, but you can just paint it solid, like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was having a good time here. Okay, we'll let that dry for a second. If we have to speed it up, we will. But I even went around the edges again and did like a little squiggly lines because I liked kind of that rough mm -hmm. look. So you could do that too. I've, I've been thinking a lot about the idea of impermanence and, you know, with everything that's going on and there's been a few funerals that have made me think about life a little differently. You know, that usually happens. Some of my good friends, my dad's good friend got COVID and I think it's, um, I think it's important to recognize that things change and find our peace in that and not to be a downer. Yeah, but no, it's, it's a good point. I think it also helps us live like a full life and not take our time here for granted and really decide what it is that we, just seeing that that's dry, it's almost dry, um, what we want to spend our time here doing. And I think that's a really important thing to think about as you're thinking about balance. Um, you know, I think it, it's really good to have grit and go after what you want in the future goal and work really hard towards that. But it's also really important to rest yeah. so that you can have the energy that your body needs in order to go after those things that you're excited about. So, I mean, that's what I think about when I think about balance. I think it could look very differently for someone else, you know, what they're trying to balance out yeah. in their life. But it's a good, it's a good thing to be thinking about, I think. Absolutely. Because it's easy to just go over here and eat snacks a lot and then <laughs> realize like, oh, I feel yucky when I eat all those snacks. <laughs> I never feel that way. <laughs> you don't overeat on your snacks? I can. Especially when I'm watching a movie and eating popcorn. You just gotta, you just gotta know how to snack properly. You gotta switch between two different <laughs> snacks. Maybe three <laughs> or four. Okay, we're gonna use this stencil. I like it's the snack swap. I like your theory there. Thank you. you gotta have balanced snacks. Exactly. I love it. Okay, now, when you're using this stencil, it might be a little tough to get it right in the center of your circle that you did. That's okay, like, we're not worried about it. I'm just gonna let this dry, it's almost there. Isn't that crazy how quickly that dried? That's super. And it dries quick. matte, so it looks a little bit shiny right now, but it's gonna be more matte when it's done. I think we're good to go. Okay, so I think that's the middle. What do you think? You think sure. that's kinda in the middle? Maybe a little higher and to the right, but I don't know, I can mean, I could be completely wrong. Ooh. Right there. Anymore. I don't know anymore. There's too many camera okay. angles for me to guess from. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to use a little painter's tape to tape this down. I think I used washi tape once. Whatever you got around, it's fine. I feel good about it. I'm going for it. Yeah. It's going to be great. Maybe just a little more, a little more paint. I mean, tape. Painter's tape. Painter's I, tape. I'm just really excited about it. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to use our number 10 jelly pen. And if you want to test your pen out on something, you can. I know mine works. I already tested it. But Okay. So it's up to you however you want to do this. I'm going to trace it and fill it in in some spots and leave other spots not filled. You could fill the whole thing. You could just do the outline. It's whatever you want to do. And my hand's going to be in the way for mm -hmm. a minute. I'm going to actually move this. I'm going to get comfortable here. And I'm going to go for it. It's so fun. And if you get going and your hand slips and you get a line where you didn't want to do, go, that's okay because we can fix it with black paint. So all is not lost if that happens to you. I need to find some clothes that are like completely non-friction. Like they don't make any sound when I move. 
Oh, did you just make sound when you moved just over barely. here? Just <laughs> barely. I didn't hear you. The microphone can hear me. I feel like those would also be comfy clothes. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking just really it's just an excuse for me to wear pajamas to work. <laughs> would scrubs make noise? Maybe they make those noiseless so that nurses can come in in the middle of the night Ooh, and help you without you knowing, sneaking I, up on you. Now I'm curious. I think you should try it out. Wear scrubs to work? That'd be legit. And I feel like they also probably feel like pajamas. Pretty, pretty comfortable. I mean... I mean, it seems yeah. like they would be. Why would they not? I used to have a lab coat that I wore to my painting classes in college so that I could check my clothes and be able to go do something else after class. Smart. It's <laughs> like doctor artist. <laughs> I used to wear, every Sunday, I used to wear a long, uh, like, black trench coat with gold buttons. But it was, like, two sizes too large. So the shoulder pads that were built in would always hang off my shoulders. <laughs> Now I think it's too small. Oh. Yeah. Turns out you get older. Turns out it's, it's kind of a good thing. It's upsetting. Getting older means you're still above ground, so it's good stuff. True. Touche. Okay. I kind of like the idea of these being these triangles on the outside being filled in, so I'm going to do that while I have my stencil in place. My favorite thing to do with these stencils is actually using a pen more than um, a stencil brush. Mm -hmm. I just think it's so fun. And some of these smaller details are really tough to get with the brush, which is why I think the best method is using a pen for the most part. We're gonna try all kinds of things this month. We're gonna do texture, we're gonna do paint, and this one's our paint and pen. A little paint pen combo. Okay, I think I almost got all the triangles done now. Oh. Maybe a little bit, fill that in. Nice. All right, and I think I want these ones to be filled in, these guys in the middle. And I think that's it. Feel good about that. Yes. Okay, let's see what our reveal looks like. Did I get them all? I yeah, got them all, looks right? like you did. <gasps> Look how centered oh. that is. You had it just right, what you directed. Perfect. Okay, so you can see the next step is going to be adding these little dots around there, and then we'll be all done. Dang, that looks good. Thank you. You ever just wanted to do that to a table? Yes, that is a great idea. I've been doing a lot of projects around the house lately, and I think that would be fun. I actually did this one on front of a notebook. I should have brought my notebook. I'll bring it next time. Um, or maybe I'll share the all the things I've put mandalas on in a lawn yap. <laughs> And if you're not familiar cool. with the word a long app or you're like, what the heck is that? We do a video that is a bonus that you just never know what you're going to get. So. It's never snacks. So you can bank on that. <laughs> <laughs> and every time I do a dot, I'm kind of trying to balance it out on the other side, like the same sort of size, sort of. So you can be thinking about balance as you're doing that. Helps you kind of spread them out where you don't have too many. This one's kind of a random filling of dots, so it's not like perfect. But we're also talk about breaking out of the stencil and making your own if you're into that. Yeah. Mostly I just hope that this inspires you to get your art supplies out and do something. It doesn't have to be what we're doing. Just make something. Do it. Even if it's a full page of dots. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I like doing that. Is that crazy? I no. love it. It feels good. Yeah. OK, 
Okay, I think I'm feeling good about that. This is a simple but satisfying project. Ta da! <laughs> <laughs> I hope that you enjoyed making this with us. I sure appreciate you being here and, and art journaling along with us. Us art journalists are having a good time yes. here with all this. Art journalists, I love that. <laughs> um, the fun thing about our community is that people share their artwork and we get more inspiration by seeing what other people's take are on these prompts and techniques. So if you are feeling inclined to share, you can share on our Facebook group, which is Let's Make Art Journals, or you can use the hashtag Let's Make Art journals on Instagram, wherever you hang out, you can find us there and share what you're making. It's so fun to see that because it inspires us and we get to be a community of art journalists making art together. Thanks so much for being here. We'll see you next time.